welcome. Uh, yesterday I came back from my travels to uh, see my family and I had a wander around and everything was looking good except for my butternut squash plants. So I'll show you what's occurring with them now. So here are my squash plants. These are the Uchiki Kuri ones which are doing really well. And then I looked at the butternut and the stem seems to have collapsed and they're all like this, all my butternuts. They have like a weakness in the stem there. I think you can see it better in, there's one you can really see it quite well in, like, like there. So you can see that it's just, it's just been eaten away. So I had a look in my a vegetable expert book, which is a really good book if you're looking for something that will tell you about every single vegetable you want to grow. And um, I'm sorry if this is a bit bright in the sun. Let's uh, just go out into the shadow a bit. So each page is dedicated to a vegetable tells you when to grow, when to sow, uh, how to cook it, when's the best time for planting it and then it has troubles, pests and diseases and what might go wrong with it and this looks like the problem that I've got which is collapsed stems so it's basil stem rot and basically it's over watering keep away uh, from the base of the stem. So I'm going to get on and uh, reseed those pots and um, hopefully they will grow better this time and with all my squashes in future when I pot them on I'm going to make sure that the, uh, how can I describe it, the plant is raised slightly higher out of the ground so when I water I water around the edge of the pot and not onto the stem and if the stem is a little bit raised from like around the edge of the pot then hopefully the stem won't get wet and um, hopefully this won't happen the next time so I will do that with my cucumbers and squashes um, this season. So I've re-sown the butterbush, here's the three butterbush, the four uh, butternut hunter variety I've already put in my grow unit and then this morning I sowed some Calvadon wonder peas and then I was a bit short so I've just sown some meteor peas there um, to make up the numbers and then I've also put some beans and parsnips to chit. So I've got a runner bean in there, Crusader, and those are mixed climbing beans at the bottom. And then I kind of figured that I should be able to tell the difference in the size of the bean as to which bean it is if they get mixed up but they shouldn't get mixed up unless I drop the whole lot of course then I got parsnips in here which I can't get the lid off because I've put it down too hard um, I've got sweet corn and those are called cantar they dwarf French beans and I plant my or French beans between my sweet corn and they have grown nicely together the last few years and finally I've got my balotti beans in there so um, hopefully they will grow as well and what I've done is I've squirted them all with water and then with the lids on they should uh, start to germinate there's my parsnips the reason I chit my uh, parsnips and beans before I put them into their root trainers or pots 
is very simply that I know then how many to expect, um, how many plants to expect. Um, so I don't waste the root trainers on seeds that are not going to come up because for me, um, I really struggle with space after a certain time um, while I'm waiting for either the weather to be right to plant things out or um, when I'm raising seedlings in my greenhouse, I, it gets really full really easily. So I just find that if I chit my seeds, some of my seeds first, then I'm not wasting space um, with one or two empty pots, if, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna go and do now is put the net in over that shelf in the big greenhouse so I can move my brassicas out there and they won't get um, butterfly, white cabbage butterflies uh, laying eggs on them. So I've just got the broccoli and the kohlrabi plants and I moved the um, the brassica seedlings that I haven't shown yet uh, around here and then the, there's my peas from this morning and down there are some leeks and the spinach that needs to either go in the compost or the ones that are looking good needs to go out. Just to show you what it looks like with the uh, curtain down, I've just got these little pegs here at the moment. I could just use um, clothes pegs when I need to use these for tomatoes in the summer, but um, that's good. That's good. I don't want to be in this greenhouse anymore. It's really hot. I'm pleased to have got that job done uh, because in the summer my cucumbers will go where that set of shelves are and the set of shelves will just sit outside my greenhouse so it'll live outside for the rest of the summer but hopefully the job I'll have done today means that it can always be used to raise any seedlings and um, just give me a bit of extra growing space for that. So let's go and see what else there is to do.
very pleased to clear away those lettuces and get some onions into place and take cuttings of the pelagoniums hopefully they will take and um, give us a splash of colour around the place for the summer and I'm very pleased to get the lettuces into place so hopefully uh, I can continue to harvest the, the leftover ones in the greenhouse and then move on to the ones in the front bed garden and then I can use the ones I planted today in that tub to keep us going until I plant out the next lot. So hopefully that will keep us going for the summer to come. And um, I shall continue to run in my irrigation system whenever I have a, fair, a spare few minutes. So, which is never really, is it? But um, we have to keep going, don't we? And... Um, Hopefully uh, that will be it for today and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. All I can say about my work around the house today is lovely job and take care everybody.